Too Faced A Perfect Eye Eyeliner Too Tight Line Eyes Flashback Well Exposure A Plus of the Fluid Line In Black Track From MAC Love the Lash Line So moving on to Foundation As usual, a quick closer. everyone so this is my face of the day most of the products that I use for today's look were products that were featured in my last haul video from Sephora so what I will do is leave the link in the description box below for those of you who have not seen the video and may be interested in checking it out it will be as I mentioned in the description box below so I first wanted to start off using the naked tree palette so this is what i use to create the eye look for today as you can see it's a very soft smoky somewhat sultry eye look yes so if you like the look please continue watching for the tutorial so before i start off with the eye area i am going to apply this is the matte anti-shine mattifying gel from peter thomas rudd i'm going to apply this all over the face area so that way once I start to apply my foundation this will be settled into the skin so just about this much So let's begin with the eye area. First I'm going to apply this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to apply this on the entire lid as well as the lower lash line. Next, I am going to apply this is NYX Jumbo Pencil and this one is in the color Yogurt. I am going to apply this right on the entire lid area and keeping this underneath the crease. And next I'm just going to use my fingers and just slightly blend that out. So for today's look I will be using the Naked Tree palette from Urban Decay and I'm going to start off by applying the highlight color. So today I will be using the color Strange which is this color right here and apply that under the brow bone area and I'm also going to take that color straight down to the crease. Moving on to the crease area, today I will be using the color Liar, which is this color right here, with a fluffy blending brush. Yes. 
just want to keep blending those colors. Next, also in the crease area, I'm going in with this color, and this is the color called Burnout, which is this color right here. Also in the crease area again, I'm going to apply this color which is called Limit. So that's the color right there. Just in the socket area of the crease, I'm applying this. Next, I'm going to apply the color Dust, which is this color right here, on the lid area. And I'm just going to press that color into the lid. Next, I'm just blending that out a bit. For the inner part of the lower lash line, I am going in with the color Liar. So again, that's this color right here. And for the outer part of the lower lash line, I am going in with the color Black. Heart, which is this one over here just slightly blending those two colors For the eyelash, I will be using Lena Lashes, and this one is in the style Tina, which looks like that. So I'm just going to apply this quickly off camera. Off camera, I use the Too Faced A Perfect Eye Eyeliner to tight line my eyes. And then I use, for the mascara, I use the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. For the upper part of the lash line area, I use, this is the fluid line in black track from MAC. This is the gel liner. I apply it right above the lash line. So moving on to foundation. Before I start applying the foundation, I am just going in with my Studio Finish Concealer from MAC and NC45. Just to conceal any little black spots that I may have on the face. So with a brush, I'm just taking a little of the product and just blending over any visible spot. For the foundation today, I will be using from NAS their All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And this one is in the color Tahu. I will be setting that with the powder and this one is in Strom... What is it? Stromboli. So, let's get started with that. I am going to be using about 3 pumps of this foundation. Applying that on my palette. 
and I'm just going to start applying it to the face. So I'm just kind of like stippling it into my skin before I start blending it out and I'm just going to do the first half of my face. So this is kind of what it looked like so far. To contour, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one is in Espresso. And once I blend that out, I am going in with this blush from MAC, which is in the color Blunt, just to blend right over that contour. So I'm just going to start blending that out a bit. For the blush I am going in with one of the NYX blush and this one is in the color Dusty Rose. For highlight, I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Palette and I'm going to use this color which is called Dim Light as my highlighter for today.
on to the lips i am going to apply this is my eos lip balm for the lip liner today i'm going to be using this one from sephora and this one is in the color pen up pink for the lipstick, I am going to be using actually a lip crayon from Tarte and this one is a matte lip tint and this one is in the color Fancy. And on top of that, I'm going to be applying also from Tarte one of their lip gloss and this one is in the color Belle. So let's start with the lip. So this wraps up today's look and as usual a quick close up. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. As usual thanks for viewing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.